Hasbro has announced plans to sell its My Little Pony toys in Build-A-Bear workshop stores after the 1980s toy became a big hit among adult men who call themselves bronies. As in, quick kids, get in the car, I think this guy is a brony. <laughs> Don't touch my pony. Sorry. I love the fighting plan, but I was thinking, what if, just go with me, we don't fight, and instead, I give him this nice cake. Why is Pinkie Pie so mad at Rainbow Dash? She found out that Rainbow Dash was secretly throwing away Pinkie's pie, so she, it was so shady and unpony, I don't even want to go into it. How do you know that? She's my girlfriend, you intolerant shit. Whoa! Pump the hate breaks, Fox and Friends. I'm just surprised anyone would date you, especially Pinkie Pie from My Little Pony. I like this guy. Back number three, you love My Little Pony. And what does My Little Pony have to do with this? <sighs> Let's recall the pony's latest adventure, shall we? Television has been used to market toys to boys and girls for generations, ranging from G.I. Joe to Barbie and Transformers to My Little Pony. Are we really doing this? Yes. Yes, we are. <laughs> Looks like Newhouse's mom finally threw out his blankie. He'll pay a lot to get this back. Especially when we send it to him piece by piece. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I like ponies and unicorns with long eyelashes. Too late, they see us. Who? This is World War One. Who do you think? The unicorns! Unicorn, attack! We're Briar and Bramble, the keepers of this realm. Talking animals wearing clothes! Oh no, did we die? Are we in Webby Heaven? Bet you are wondering what this place is. Hi, honey! Jesus H. Christ, what is that? I'm expressing my individuality. All my friends have tattoos. How the hell are you gonna get a job when you grow up? You think a law firm or a bank will hire you now? I don't think so. Yeah, the first national bank of dad can kiss my ass. My YouTube channel is blowing up, okay? I'm famous. Do I like this show? Nay, I do not. I told you we should have watched reruns on Melrose Place. So, Chariot, are you as excited about going to the Equestronaut convention today as I am? Maybe even more excited. Well, it's not a contest, Chariot. Friendship is magic. The evil centaur demon Tyrek turns Applejack into a dragon at Midnight Castle, and then Megan and the other ponies have to use Mutix magic to defeat his rainbow of darkness, saving them from a lifetime of enslavement. All the pink in the world can't disguise the irrefutable fact that centaurs and castles and dragons and magic are all standard nerd tropes. Ergo, My Little Pony is nerdy. Ergo, you, Erica, are a nerd. Twilight Sparkle and Spike the Dragon are two creatures who share a magical friendship in what line of popular toys? My Little Ponies. My Little Pony, you got it! <gasps> Can you make me a pony? It will make the Twilight Sparkle. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Well, we can shoot a fishing line over the barn from one of these trees here and just let the helmet slide down. Like Green Arrow? No, not like Green Arrow. That dude goes to brony conventions dressed in the back half of Twilight Sparkle with a four inch wide butthole drilled in the costume. Come on, Sparkle. We'll sing the shanty duet and I'll mm -hmm. show you how to climb the rat lines. Can we focus on our super important mission here? More sailing, less chanting. Of course, Shimmer. My name is Glimmer. Oh. Here, hop on our backs. We'll give you a tour. Oh. Oh. Wait, why are your manes wet? <gasps> You're Kelpies, aren't you? You tempt people onto your backs, then carry them off into the sea. Oh, no, 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 no. We just got out of the shower, that's all. Well, what do you want to be when you grow up, Alex? Hmm, maybe a veterinarian, or an animal psychologist, or a pony. If only we could all be like Sparkleface and Butterbean. You're absolutely right, Butterbean. Sorry, guys. I guess I got a little carried away with the changes. It's cool, Rave. 
<laughs> Who wants to race? <laughs> Whoa, come on, come on. Love your work. <laughs> Whoa, watch out. Okay, nice horsey, nice horsey. <laughs> Horse get loose. Buttercup, this isn't a horse. It's my magical, mystical best friend, Unicorn. Uh, hate to break it to you, Bubbles, but that's no unicorn. That's a plain old pony. They're cute. They're magical. And we all want to own one. But this summer, they're going to own you. <laughs> it's My Little Pony. The show about some wild ponies who like to horse around. My Little Pony, Apocalypse Pony. Punish mankind for their sins. I'm Pestilence Pony! <laughs> I love you, Pestilence Pony! <laughs> I'm Famine Pony! It's a t-shirt. That's Princess Celestia, leader of the ponies. Come on, try it on. Put it on, put it on. Yeah, put it on, put it on. <laughs> Fine, I'll try it on. It's... <laughs> and I found it on my own. Right. And my daughter is going to find her own thing on her own, and I'm going to let her figure out. I'm not going to, I'm not going to. You know what she's into? What you know what her doing? big thing is right now? My Little Pony. Oh. Hi, and welcome to Felix Recensero. And today, we're going to be able to the wonderful, dårliga film, My Little Pony, Equestria Girls. to the brony convention in Liechtenstein. Where do you think I'm going? Going to Fuzzy's house. So have fun being more jelly than a peanut butter sandwich. Hey, Bob, you going to EquestraCon? Uh, no, Chetty, because that's a convention for little girls that like toy horses. Uh, beg to differ, Bob. It's for guys that like toy horses. They're called Equesticles. Equesticles? Yeah, because they got testicles. Because they're men. Ooh, 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 a drone. Did you know this is a good toy for a three-year-old girl? Are you sure she doesn't want a drone? Is there any world at all where a three-year-old girl would want a drone? Oh, gosh, yes, the bike. Who the hell are you? I'm a police officer. She's a federal witness in my protective custody. Okay, I know she looks like she can't protect nothing because she looks like my little pony, but, but it's true. Shh. I am very normal. Please do not judge me based on them. Are those your My Little Pony sheets? What? No. At least I still have all of his old funny shows that I love safe and sound in my DVR. Sheep catchers! My tiny horsey, friendship is a virus! You were supposed to trim my hair a week ago. Where have you been? I've been watching Billy's My Troubled Pony DVD set. I can't get enough of it. It's got comedy and drama. So, it's a dramedy. Uh, Otis, she's a... Uh, I, I know much. Any last words, Pony? Yeah! Any last words? Pinkie Pie? But you're on my side. Am I? Honestly, I get confused. I mean, we all look alike, there are colors, and we all just want to learn about friendship. Oh, look, Sparkle Face. It's Licorice Forest. But isn't that place full of trolls? Don't be silly, Sparkle Face. It's the home of our new friend. Princess Silky Soft. Nice to meet you, Princess Silky Soft. Your hair sure is. Transdimensional teleportation? Let's give it a try. Hmm? And I am. Death Pony! Oh, how sad. The poor thing can't hear. No, Mom. I think he said. <laughs> Pony. Is that your dolly? Yeah, thanks! So if you like ponies... How much do you like ponies? This much! Oh. Prepare to be pwned! Oh, lucky I came prepared. Good work, Private. What you got? Garlic? Wolf's Bane? Trust you brought enough to share. Luna 
unicorns eat sparkles and sleep on rainbows. <sighs> Move in. Let's round us up some cows. Come on, Isabella. Yeah! Ooh. <laughs> we'll get the professor to turn you into a real unicorn. What? Bubbles, I don't think that's a good idea. Of course it is. You'll be a real life unicorn. Yeah! Be friends with a real life unicorn. Yeah! <laughs> this is beautiful, Brynn. See you on Parents Weekend. They seem nice. Guys, I know, I, I know. Look, we need to reorganize a little. Your dad will go out and get us some new sheets. You and I can hang up all the pictures on the walls. Huh? It can't be, can it? <laughs> the pretty pony hour! Eh. Javier, I'm afraid I don't have much time left. Tomorrow they're sending me to the glue factory. My hair, Grim. That's an order. There! Yo, what up, home fries? Time to meet my new bro. Did someone say brony? What? No, no one ever said that. Boy, it's kind of awkward seeing Jillian here with Derek. Wonder if she's thinking about me. I don't know, are you a pony or the color blue? <laughs> Derek, look! Ha, huh, how do you like that? I ordered. I wanted someone cool. Check. Who is good at fighting. Check. And is a remake of a 1980s cartoon show. Well, unless you see a snork running around, I'm your new best friend. One Perky Patty's Princess Shop, please. Ah, always good to meet a fellow M. Fop. What? Adult male fan of princesses. It's for my daughter. Yes, yes, it's always for the daughter. Sit down with me and let's watch My Little Pony and she'll explain these stories and I'm kind of half listening, but she's into it, you know? And she, and that's her thing now. She's watching My Little Pony, the, the adventures of these, of, well, the main character is named Twilight Sparkle. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> Twilight Sparkle is a, is, a, is a unicorn. Well, there's three kinds of ponies in the My Little Pony world. <laughs> there's unicorns, they can use magic. Then oh. there's the earth ponies, oh. like Pinkie Pie and Applejack. And then, uh, <laughs> There are the Pegasi, uh, the, uh, basically, the Pegasi are uh, Fluttershy and Lightning Dash, uh, Rainbow Dash, sorry, Rainbow Dash, yeah. Lightning Dash. I was gonna say. <laughs> so, they all, at the beginning, uh, you know, Twilight Sparkle.